Volkswagen are saying that they are just about to release a revolutionary new electric motor, which not only massively increases the power of their very underpowered electric cars, but also improves the efficiency, gives them more range at the same time. Normally, this would be impossible. I mean, a gasoline-powered car could never do this. More power, more range. Have you ever heard of that before? But electric cars, it's possible. And I think it's actually true because this isn't the first time that this has happened. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Now, there's been a number of times when we've seen electric motors improvements. For example, Tesla offered a free over-the-air update, which increased the power of your Model 3 and I believe Model Ys by 5%. And you would think more power, therefore less range, but actually it also improved the range at the same exact time. It was free. Crazy. Well, Volkswagen have unveiled their new motors. They have 210 kilowatt, which is around 290 horsepower, and will be used for their modular electric drivetrain, the MEB platform. Volkswagen's next generation powertrain will improve performance and range of all ID cars, ID3, ID4, ID5, ID6, and ID7. The APP 550 MEB powertrain will significantly boost the power of their, to be fair, underpowered EVs, and also increase the torque. Plus, they're saying, like I said, give them around 5% more range, which is quite a big improvement. They say, because the available space has not changed, we were compelled to develop a new drive that achieves significant improvements in performance and efficiency in spite of being subject to the same constraints, said Carsten Benowitz, Volkswagen's head of powertrain and energy systems in development. He said, constraints was a great challenge for the team of technical development and group components. The result shows that we were able to reduce the use of raw materials while at the same time achieve a considerable increase in vehicle efficiency. Realistically, I don't think it's very likely Volkswagen had a whole lot to do with the design and manufacturing of these motors. For example, Mercedes have a new motor which is smaller than their existing motor that will be coming out in next generation EVs for Mercedes. It will also be much lighter than their existing motor but have similar power. They don't say that they designed it. Another company did it and of course, Mercedes will use it. I think that makes a lot of sense. Now, I could be wrong here, correct me if I am, but I think it's likely that that is what has happened. The APP 550 MEB powertrain has, like I said, 290 horsepower, 210 kilowatt, and maximum, as in not the standard, but on the maximum possible highest output, 550 newton meters of torque. It also has an energy saving cooling system that works without an electrically driven oil pump. They said the system is able to independently cool itself via the gear wheels of the gearbox and specially formed components for oil supply and distribution. The heated oil is cooled by the vehicle's coolant circuit, which keeps the drive at operating temperature. The outside of the stator is equipped with a water heat sink. Volkswagen's new powertrain will be produced in its components plant in Cassel, Germany. Volkswagen plans to roll out the APP 550 MEB powertrain in the fourth quarter of this year. In other words, in only, what, about six months. So if you're looking at getting a Volkswagen EV, definitely worth considering the newer models will have this new powertrain, which is a big improvement. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what, EVs use oil? Well, they have oil, they don't necessarily use it though. For example, Tesla's electric cars do have a sealed compartment with oil in them, but it's completely sealed. It's never actually opened and Tesla doesn't tell you to service it. They never service it. They say it's one of those components that doesn't need to be serviced. Now there are other EVs such as BYD's electric cars and other brands which require you to service that component they replace the oil in that component. It's not very often though. It's normally after every couple of hundred thousand kilometers. With some cars, it's more frequently. BYD says it's after a hundred thousand. Sounds ridiculous to me compared to, of course, other companies saying you don't need to do it over a lifetime. Now, it depends, of course, on how well that component is sealed. I'm going to guess that Volkswagen's new gearbox motor system, I'm going to guess that that's all sealed and you probably won't need to replace that oil, but there's no way of really knowing. 
Either way, I have mentioned a few times in the past that Volkswagen's EVs are a bit underpowered. I mean, they're doing stuff like nine seconds, zero to 62 miles an hour, zero to 100 kilometers an hour, which it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. It's just sort of like, why would it be that slow? Why such little power? We'll cover the reasons here. MEV platform is very heavy. Even Volkswagen's engineers have admitted to this. So if you want to critique me in the comments, then you're going to send those comments straight over to them because they're the ones that have told me this. The MEV platform is heavy because it was made for larger cars. Now, of course, they have to kind of convert that platform in a way to be used across a various different models of car when you can use it for the ID7, which is a much, much bigger car than the ID3. Makes me wonder what's going to happen when they use it for the ID2. Thank you for watching, my friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have a great day. Bye-bye.